At the Oregon Convention Center, the air conditioning is on, and a couple hundred people, including Dennis Henry, have gathered to escape the sweltering heat. I'm 71. Uh, I have hay fib, uh, which many people know uh, is a heart condition that makes it harder to breathe. And uh, it does not go well with 116 degrees, or whatever it is today. The convention center is free for anyone who needs a place to cool off. You can stay overnight and they'll feed you as well. Call 211 if you need a ride there. It's open until Wednesday morning. The county's public health officer, Dr. Jennifer Vines, says this heat is a real threat to many. We know that calls to emergency medical services are at levels that we've never seen before in our region. She's worried some will not survive. So fingers crossed that as we look back at this period, um, we don't find excessive deaths, but um, this is extreme heat for our region and a true emergency. The heat is also stressing our power grid as hundreds of thousands of homes and businesses crank up air conditioners. Everybody in the world, including me, has their air conditioner and fans turned on. How's the power holding out? You know, so far, so good. Um, we had planned for this record high temperatures and they have not, uh, not failed to deliver. She said the utility could see an all-time high for electrical use, but it's too soon to tell. In the meantime, there are issues that become huge problems for those affected in this heat. Midday Monday, more than 200 customers were without power in Clackamas County. Nearly 600 were out in Washington County. We know that these extended periods of high heat put some strain on the electrical equipment within our system, and sometimes that can cause it to break down. At Portland's airport, something happened in the major power lines flowing from Pacific Power to the airport, a brief interruption both Saturday and Sunday evenings that had widespread impact. We don't know the cause of them, but what we do know happened is that when, when we get a power bump, which happens occasionally, it trips a bunch of breakers and there's a lot of equipment that has to be restarted manually. So think of all the moving walkways and the escalators. Our maintenance crews have to go out and restart those. The airport has its own backup power for runways and lights. Back at the convention center, Dennis Henry says, if you are watching this story and sweating because your home is too hot, do yourself a favor, come visit. It's free and easy. You don't have to know anything. You just walk in the door and they line you up with a bed and. Uh, see if you need anything. Here's some water. Are you hungry? <laughs> Sounds like a very nice option. By the way, I heard back late this afternoon from Pacific Power. They say they're not quite sure what's going on at the airport, that their records show a continuous flow of electricity all throughout. We do know that something happened. The people movers and the escalators did shut down both Saturday evening and Sunday evening until they were restarted. Also, there's more cooling centers than just the convention center. So if you're in the Portland area, go to the Multnomah County website to see where the other ones are. If you're outside, check with your own county website. And finally, the PGE power outage, that's just gotten worse. It's more than 2,000 people now, 1,059 in Multnomah County and 1,635 in Washington County. That's a lot of people to be without power right now. Oh, Back to you. Can't imagine. Okay, Pat, thank you.